three golden rules or three key concepts that you need to apply to whatever paddling you're doing, whether you're paddling in the surf or learning to roll. You need to let your upper and lower bodies work independently but cooperatively with each other. You have to maintain a power position with your arms and you need to rotate your torso for all strokes. Using a cooperative division of your body means that as your upper body performs one task, your lower body can perform a totally separate and complementary one. This means there needs to be a distinct separation of your body at the hips. This is critical for rolling because it lets you use the all-important hip snap, which we'll be looking at shortly. Maintaining your power position simply means keeping your hands in front of your body and not letting a hand get behind you where your shoulder's at risk. You can, another way to think of this is that your arms, your chest, and your shaft form a box and you want to maintain that box when taking any type of stroke. This doesn't mean that you can't reach to the front or back of your boat to take a stroke. It just means that to do so, you'll need to rotate your whole upper body so that your hand stays in front of you. This act of rotating your upper body is fittingly named torso rotation. And not only does it keep your shoulders safe, but it lets you harness the most power for your strokes, which is why it's our third golden rule. Torso rotation is the way you get your core upper body muscles involved with your strokes instead of just your arms. This gives your strokes a lot more power and keeps your shoulders safe. Your paddle goes through a wide range of motion when rolling, so to maintain your power position, you need to use aggressive torso rotation. <laughs> 